bad weather situation. And one of the things that we've always found over the years is the most important thing we can do is keep all of you informed every step of the way. And I hope you've uh, been able to appreciate that we've been trying to get you as much information as we can, as quickly as we can, as up to date as we can. And uh, this is a video that we'd like to do, and the captain asked me to come up here to the bridge so we can give you the most up-to-date information when it comes to the weather, where we were, and also where we're going as we have uh, changed course and obviously uh, making sure that everybody is, is comfortable on the way around. So, Captain, let's uh, talk about where we're at and what we're doing. Thank you very much. First of all, I'd like to thank all the guests for, for the consideration and the patience with the, in the situation that we were in. And I'd also like to thank the crew members for their fantastic job yesterday. It's, uh, it was amazing. I have to say that um, I've been with the company for 17 years. And I have uh, five years in Alaska. Uh, and Alaska has a lot to offer when it comes to weather. I have been doing the entire South America. I have several seasons in, um, in Australia and New Zealand and uh, one large islands as well as in Europe. Um, I've been sailing through storms and around uh, the Horn and, and so on before. But what we experienced yesterday, that was uh, something very special. I honestly have not seen a uh, low pressure um, that was not forecasted um, anything near what we actually experienced. When we, at 6.30 in the morning yesterday, I came up here to the, to the bridge and sat down with uh, some of the team members that had um, done the better predictions and we looked at all, everything. And we did a small alteration, as I told you on the noon speech, that, uh, or actually a 10 o'clock speech, that noon speech, it became a 10 o'clock speech. Then we went a little bit further to the west too, to give a little bit more room to that low pressure that was developing, of respect for this area where we are. But we were supposed to just have around four or five meters with seas, which is a 12, 15 feet, where for this vessel, well, it's a... Uh, it's very doable, mm. and 40, 50 knots wind, which uh, that was what we were supposed to have. And that was at um, at 6.30 in the morning, I talked to you at 10, so, so then, so then um, and everything was nice and dandy. And I remember that I came off the phone with, um, with um, the Miami office at uh, one o'clock. I walked onto the bridge, as the wind started to pick up, and I said, you know, wow, there's, there's, there's some lashes of wind here that be stronger than, than, um, than um, what it was forecasted, quite a bit stronger. Mm -hmm. And it just didn't stop. It just, was just like it, 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 it just started to boil around us and just... It developed, it so, developed quickly. so quickly. And that is the special thing, you know, that it, it just became so intensified um, in one, eight, nine hours, mm -hmm. it goes from being nothing to a full-blown storm. And uh, this is where, this is what you see it is at the moment. Uh, this pink that you have in here, that uh, was a little bit further down here. The whole thing was not bigger than this, and it was up here, and it just exploded. And we are not that many hours after, the, we are just 24 hours, actually. Mm -hmm. So from in 20 or 4 hours, it has moved from being this to what you see here. It's, uh, it's, um, it's Mother uh, Nature, it is. Uh, I'm telling you that it's um, um, a weird storm that we, we experienced. Um, but the ship handled it very well, mm -hmm. I must say, very well. Um, uh, yes, it was uncomfortable, very uncomfortable, very scary for many, not only uh, uh, our guests, but also our crew members that had not experienced this before. I have had severe weather before, but not to this extent, this extreme uh, sudden uh, thing that you had to, to um, that we had to deal with there. So there was a lot of um, thoughts going around, but you know, for, for the professional team that was on board, I'm, I'm extremely grateful for the ability to keep the heads calm, do what they're supposed to do, keep on with the job, making sure things are being done safely, uh, whatever they're doing, ensuring that they look into possibilities that may happen and so on in case we encounter this and this and this. 
So the team worked very, very nicely. And I thank all the guests again for listening and go back to the stage rooms. For those that were sitting in the lounges that felt more comfortable there, thank you for sitting put there because if you had roamed around the vessel, well, a sudden move will can can harm people, you know? Yeah. Something can come loose, and we saw that. We, we had stuff that flew around, and if we went to the, to the outside of the ship, the strongest winds that we had was 150, 160 knots of wind. That is 170, 180 miles an hour wind on the outer deck. So, yeah, for everyone that goes around today to have a look at it, they can see that the wind has made some damages to to um, to the vessel, some impact there. We have some of our satellite domes that the covers was broken uh, and, and so on. So it's um, and on board the vessel that we had movement. So we have some hot plants that broke, and of course that looks extremely bad when you see yeah. that just all over the place. It's um, uh, so. Uh, so with all in all, um, I'm, I'm very pleased with, with the, the, the ship and its condition. Very nice and safe ship. It's, uh, it's less than a year old. And uh, no, this is the, the third storm that I had this ship in. I, had this, I took this ship from the yard. I brought it into service. I took it over to New York uh, when, um, when we came over with it. And, uh, and now I'm back on board again after uh, a nice holiday. And of course, no. I got to learn this one. So now I have to say that I am comfortable with this ship. I can take this ship anywhere at any given time. Now this is uh, now we know exactly what this ship is made of, so to speak, if we can use yeah. those terms. So and, and so, what's, yeah. what, what's kind of interesting is you know you talk about the big potted plant that rolled over that crashed.